This video covers how to use the new controller on Hitchin Hack Spaces laser cutter. It's going to cover loading a file, positioning the work and setting the origin, and running the job. So when the laser cutter is turned on, it will boot to a blank job screen. So the first job is to load a file. You do this by pressing the file button and then using the arrow keys to navigate to your file. Um, helpfully, the new controller has a preview box that shows you uh, a summary of the job. It's helpful because the file needs need to be quite short. Once you're over your file, you can um, either select it or press right and select work time preview and then press enter and that'll give you an estimated cut time and I found that to be very accurate. Um, to get out of there, press escape, go back to the file list and then press enter on your file to actually load the job. When the job screen loads, you'll see a larger preview of the job and a summary of the cut parameters. On these previews, uh, a filled in blank area indicates where will be scanned or raster engraved and lines are cut paths. While you're in this mode, pressing the arrow keys will position the laser, uh, move the laser head and allow you to position it over your work. To assist with judging the position, pressing frame will cause the laser head to move around the rectangular extremes of the job. When you're happy with the position of the laser and it's where you want the origin to be, press the origin key to set the datum for your job. With everything set up, you can press the green arrow key to start the job. Pressing it again will pause the job or pressing the red square will stop the job. And that's the basics of the new control panel. I found it a lot nicer to use than the old one. I hope you get on well with it. If you have any trouble, as always, there's the wiki, there's Slack, or there's the instruction manual linked below.